Mori Hei Ueshiba, the founding father of Aikido, driven by his never-ending desire to further his study in martial arts, sought the truth by practicing austerities in Iwama. Aikido is a new form of martial art which developed from traditional Japanese culture. All martial arts prior to Aikido were constructed around the principle of attack and defense, with their first aims being victory. Aikido, however, is designed as a discipline of the mind and body beyond combative sport and therefore has no competition. Its goal, rather, is to develop the individual, the entire self, through the daily practice of different techniques. Normal Aikido training consists of repetition learning. When practicing with a partner, it is important to bear in mind that true strength can only be obtained through the mutual understanding and desire to perfect and master each technique. One must master the basic techniques first in order to see improvement in the more advanced techniques. In other words, only when the basic moves have been mastered, one is able to progress in the art of Aikido. Remember that the movements which will be introduced here are the foundations of many other techniques. There are a few exercises and movements which should be highlighted before learning the basic techniques of Aikido. Today, we will demonstrate the most important ones. First, let's look at the warm-up exercises. In the martial arts, as in all sports, it is important to prepare the body prior to the regular training by performing the necessary warm-up exercises. Calisthenics for the joints are especially important in Aikido. Rotation of the upper body. Bending and stretching of the upper body forward and backward. Bending and stretching of the upper body to both sides. Bending and stretching of the legs, be sure to stretch your Achilles tendon. Rotation of the knees. Exercise for the ankles and toes. Exercise for the neck and shoulders. There are a few special warm-up exercises for your wrist joints. Kote Gaishi, Kote Mawashi, and Tekubi Shindo. The body does not utilize these joints under normal conditions, so it is important to perform these exercises carefully in order to increase their flexibility before moving on to the actual Aikido training. Now let's look at some basic movements. The stance depends on how you place your feet when facing your partner. When you stand with your left foot forward, it is called Hidali Gamai. With your right foot forward, Migi Gamai. Aihanmi is when both you and your partner use the same stance. Gyaku Hanmi is when you and your partner use opposite stances. Mai is the distance between partners. It is important to ensure that your Mai is sufficient for easy maneuverability as well as for the performance of the various techniques. Proper Mai is when your hand and that of your partner can just touch each other.
Mitsuke allows the movement of your opponent to be detected in his eyes. In other words, your opponent's intentions will show up first in his eyes. Mitsuke は大変重要なことです。人間は何かしようとするとき必ず目に現れます。この目付けによって相手の意思を知り、自分に有利な迷いを作ることが肝心です。To form the tegatana, or hand blade, keep your arm rigid from the elbow to the fingertips, especially from your wrist to the fingertips, in a similar manner to the chop used in karate. In order to change your body position while maintaining a stable posture, you should pay close attention to using correct hakobiyashi, or footwork. Move your front foot one step forward. Before planting the front foot firmly on the ground, quickly move the back foot towards the front one. Both feet should be set firmly on the ground simultaneously. It is important to try to keep your body stable during the action. In this movement, the back foot always follows the front. For Ayumiyash, let the feet alternate forward and out. The foot motion, which originates from the rear, should look like this. Mawariyashi allows one to quickly change a forward stance to a back stance by rotating the body. Shiko is a form of walking that does not require a person to stand up. It uses the knees and waist as the fundamental points of motion. While kneeling, raise up on your toes and then use your knees, hips, and toes together. Alternate forward left and right in a hanmi stance. Keep your feet together and when rotating, stand on one knee as a pivot point while you move the other. Courtesy, persistently, must always be the natural behavior in Aikido. However, it must also allow you to defend yourself against a sudden attack. Let's look at an aspect of Aikido which is based on this ideology. Aikido is a traditional 現れである礼節を重んじます合気道を始めるにあたって礼を尊ぶ心が何よりも必要なことです All techniques in Aikido are designed to allow you to counter an attack from any direction. Let's look at a number of offensive moves in Aikido. There are three types of attack when the mai between you and your opponent is relatively wide. Shomenuchi, or front strike. Yokomenuchi, or side strike. Ski, or punch. When the mai is narrow, your opponent may attack you in one of the following ways. Katate dori, wrist grab. Ryote dori, both wrists grabbed. Morote dori, two handed grab. Kata dori, shoulder grab. Your opponent may also attack you from behind. One example is. Ushiro, Ryote, Kubidori, both wrists grabbed from behind. Now let's look at some forms of ukemi. Mae ukemi, falling forward, Ushiro ukemi, falling backwards, and Yoko ukemi, falling sideways. For Mae ukemi, 
swing your arm inward as if to draw a circle and pull your chin in as you roll forward. For a Shila Ukemi, pull your chin in, bend your knees, and round your back as you roll backwards. Ushilo Hanten Ukemi is similar to Ushilo Ukemi, except that you rebound and roll forward to your original stance just as your back completely touches the ground. For Yoku Ukemi, slide your right foot in front of your left foot and stretch the leg as you fall to the right. Strike the ground with your right hand as you fall to reduce the shock of impact. The same steps apply using the opposite foot and hand when falling towards the left. Sotaidosa is a partner exercise prior to normal practice. These basic steps will be applied in various Aikido techniques, so let's look at a few demonstrations of Sotaidosa. First, let's look at Tenkan Ho used for practicing movements of your body in Shiho Nage. There are basically two types of Tenkan, Tenkan and Ilimi. For these exercises, purposely let your opponent grab your wrist so that you can lead him into your sabaki or counter by forming a hand blade. Tenkan is necessary for sabaki where you pivot behind your opponent. For ilimi tenkan, enter by moving your body forward. Shiho Gili is another warm-up exercise for Shiho Nage. When your opponent takes hold of both your hands, direct him towards your movement by forming hand blades with both hands and swinging them up. Complete your sabaki by making a turn and swinging your hand blades down. Stop just before throwing him. Shiho Gili Omote is performed from an Ai Han Mi. Do an Alimi by stepping forward and then pivot. Shiho Gili Ula is performed from a Gyaku Hanmi. For your sabaki, pivot widely in a circular motion. You should perform certain exercises to cool your body down after training. Those exercises will help to ease your body and mind back to their normal conditions. Moreover, they will help you to release accumulated fatigue and stress so take your time to perform them carefully. In order to reach the advanced techniques in Aikido, you need to attain various Giho or levels through the repeated practice of the basic techniques. Today we will demonstrate two types of nage waza, or throwing techniques, called ilimi nage and shiho nage, as well as katame waza, or pinning techniques, called ikkyo udeosai. There are many variations to these techniques depending on your opponent's attack. We will go through five of them today. Later, we will also introduce how to control your breathing, since this is an indispensable part of Aikido. When your opponent grabs your right hand with his right hand, step in with your left foot and grab the back of his neck. Move in to his side as you cut your hand blade down in a circular motion to break his balance. As he tries to regain control, step in and throw him down to your side with your hand blade.
掴まれた腕を動かすのではなく、まず左足を大きく相手の側面へ踏み込み、入り見することが大切です。When your opponent strikes you at your face with his right hand, quickly perform an erlimi stepping in with your left foot. Grab the back of your opponent's neck with your left hand and then pivot widely to your right to break his balance. Then step in and knock him down to your side with your hand blade. When your opponent grabs your right wrist with his left hand, grasp his left wrist with your left hand and step forward as you swing your right hand blade up in an arc. Pivot to your left and cut your hand blade down while holding his left arm. For Ula Waza, rear technique. First, tenkan widely to your left as you grasp your opponent's left wrist with your left hand. Then form a hand blade with your right hand and swing it up in an arc. Finally, throw him as you cut your hand blades down. Form a hand blade with your right hand and swing it up as soon as your opponent grabs your right wrist. Next, take control of his right arm by using your left hand blade and break his balance. Finally, take two big steps forward and pin him with his right arm. Slide your left foot forward toward your opponent's right side as soon as he grabs your right wrist. While balancing on your left foot, pivot and take control of his right arm. Finally, pin him from a seated position.
When your opponent attempts to strike at your face, take control of his arm using both hand blades. Step in to break his balance and pin him from a seated position by using his arm. For Ulawaza, the Alimi motion is applied. When your opponent attempts to strike you, take control of his arm with both hand blades. After a wide pivot, break his balance using the controlled arm as you turn. Finally pin him from a seated position. The basis of Aikido is Ki, or the unified action of mind and body. Ki can only be developed by practicing so-called breath power training, which enables you to concentrate and summon your inner energy. During the execution of Aikido techniques, if Ki is utilized as the essence of every movement, it is called Kokyuryoku, or breath power. No Aikido technique can be properly executed without proper breath power. We will now introduce the two different methods of practicing breath power. First, Zaho which is practiced in a seated position, and second, lippo, which is practiced standing. When your opponent grabs both of your wrists, form hand blades and swing them up in a spiral motion. During this action, concentrate on your hand blades and imagine that all your ki is accumulated and released through your fingertips. Break his balance and throw him to one side. For Ripo Omote, let your opponent grab your forearm with both hands. Do an Elimi to your opponent's side into an Aihanmi position. Close your armpit as you form hand blades and swing them up high and then down on your opponent to knock him down sideways. There is also an ula waza for Ripo. From the Gyaku Hanmi position, make a wide pivot to your left, balancing on your right foot. Form hand blades and break your opponent's balance as you swing them up. Step in behind him with your left foot and then swing down the hand blades to his rear. We have now gone over some of the basic movements and techniques of Aikido. They are all important steps to be practiced and mastered before moving on to the next. All beginners must patiently repeat these basic lessons regularly, preferably on a daily basis.
Based on the traditional Japanese martial arts, Aikido is a way to develop yourself, both physically and spiritually, through consistent training. It is not a combative sport where you compete or fight against opponents, but rather a means to build and strengthen oneself. Aikido trains your body for spiritual achievements and your mind for physical achievements. Aikido techniques can be divided into three categories. Kateme waza, or locking and pinning techniques, nage waza, or throwing techniques, and buki waza, or techniques involving the use of weapons. Today we will demonstrate various kateme waza forms that can be used after you throw, drop, or strike your opponent. There are a variety of different kateme waza forms, but the majority are based on udeo sai, or arm lock technique. For katame waza, you will always pin your opponent face down by taking control of his arm, wrist, elbow, or shoulder. You will also be able to maintain absolute control by adjusting your stance, as well as the distance between you and your opponent. Of the five basic katame waza forms, we will first introduce ikkyo udeo sai and ikkyo kote me washi. Because many other kata me waza are based on ude osai, it is important to begin with this technique. When your opponent attempts to strike you with his right hand, slide your right foot a half step forward and form hand blades to take control of his arm. Then, move your right knee forward in a hanmi ilimi form and proceed to pin him face down using his arm. For Ula Waza, or rear technique, pivot behind your opponent after you take control of his arm. Break his balance by using his controlled arm while turning your body and pin him face down. When your opponent strikes at you with his right hand blade, let your body follow as you cut down along his front as you pivot. Then take control of his right wrist with your right hand blade and his right elbow with your left. Break his balance by stepping in and pinning him from a seated position using his right arm.
When your opponent attempts to strike at the side of your face with his right hand blades, block his attack by thrusting hand blades to his right arm and face. Take control of his right wrist by forming a cross with your hand blades and his right elbow with your right hand and then pivot. Break his balance by turning, controlling his right arm, and pin him face down from a seated position. When your opponent grabs your left shoulder with his right hand, immediately strike at his face with your right hand. Break his balance by pivoting while you control his right arm with your right hand blade. Next, grab the back of his right hand and twist your hip to the right as you step with your left foot. Take control of his right elbow with your left hand blade, pivot, and pin him. For Ula Waza, break his balance before you take control of his right elbow with your left hand and shift your left foot toward his right after you grab the back of his right hand. Pivot to the right of your left foot, take full control of his right arm and pin him. When your opponent grabs your wrist from behind, first turn your palms up and press them to your hips. Slightly shift your left foot back and swing your hands upward in a spiral motion leading his hands along. Take a big step backwards with your right foot and break his balance as you swing your hands down in an arc. Take control of his left hand with your left hand and his left elbow with your right hand. Take a step forward with your right foot, then with your left, and finally pin him face down using his controlled arm. For Ula Waza, pivot widely leftward and control his arm. Pin him down from a seated position after taking control of his elbow and breaking his balance.
This concludes our Ikkyo Udeosai demonstration. Udeosai, as was mentioned previously, is one of the most important basic techniques. Your ki, or spirit, ilimi, and your body, sabaki, must be integrated into this technique. Continue to practice it repeatedly until you feel confident and comfortable with the movements. The kote mawashi technique of Aikido applies pressure to the wrist of your opponent. Basically, it is a combination of the ude osai technique and a joint lock. When your opponent strikes at you with his right hand, first break his balance with the ude osai technique. Then pin his right shoulder at the base of his neck with your right knee as you apply pressure to his ribs with your left knee. Move in on your knees as you grab his right wrist inside your elbow. Take control of his right elbow with your right hand blade and twist his arm in the direction of his head. For Ula Waza, break your opponent's balance the same way, as in the Ula form of Ude Osai. Lock his right wrist with your right hand and control his right elbow with your left hand. Pivot toward the right while balancing on your left knee, then take his arm and pin him down. When your opponent grabs your left wrist with his right hand, form a gyaku hanmi stance, break his balance by first cutting your right hand below his right hand, and then bring it up in an arc as you use your left hand blade to control his right elbow. Twist his right hand in, move forward with your knees pressing against his body, and pin him down. For Ula Waza, start from a Gyaku Hanmi stance. Form a hand blade.